Hey everyone, you are watching Jet Plays. I'm Jet. Hmm? Nope, I was talking to the video. Sorry. I'm gonna keep that in the show. <laughs> hey everyone, you are watching Jet Plays. I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com, website about video games, board games, comic books, and other nerdy pursuits. And today on the docket, we are continuing our journey through the NES Classic with Double Dragon 2. The Revenge. I don't know if you remember, but on the very first reveal, when we first played the NES Classic, this is one of the games we played. But I said we were going to cover all of these games, separate videos. Oh man, wait. Wait, time out. Let's reset. I picked two players, and there's totally only one player here. So that's not going to work. So let's just start that again. Yeah, Double Dragon. This, I guess, this this version of Double Dragon in particular, Double Dragon 2, was my favorite growing up. I played this game a lot, rented it a whole bunch. I don't know if I knew anyone that owned it. No, I must have known people that owned it, because I played a lot of Double Dragon. I know I rented it at least a few times. Oh. And since we got the NES Classic, this ends up being a, a go-to game. Um, among people who I brought this out in front of. It's just a very easy game for two people to just pick up a controller and punch people in the face. But yeah, History of Double Dragon, a little weird. The arcade history, the NES games. Their Battletoads Double Dragon was a really weird one, but that game was pretty cool, although pretty hard. All these games have been insanely hard. I think the one more recent game, the Double Dragon Neon on the PlayStation 3 360. I haven't. I played the demo of that, and I didn't like it at the time. But the reviews for that have been generally positive, and maybe I missed something at the time, but maybe at some point I'll come back to that. This game, though, up until then, my favorite Double Dragon game, but I've never beaten it, never come close. I think I've gotten to the fourth or fifth level one time, the one with the where you're climbing around a bulldozer or something? That one, I've gotten to there like once or twice ever. And that's it. This game is way too hard. Oh crap. Mm. That should be it. Beat-em-ups as a whole, this whole genre kind of died a pretty brutal death. I mean, they haven't been relevant in decades, but I they were some of my favorite games growing up, from Double Dragon to the Ninja Turtle games, which are probably my favorite. Um, Ninja Turtles 2, 3, and 4 were awesome games. Oh man. Oh. I didn't really play Final Fight. That was a weird one. Because I know that was big in the arcade and went to home consoles a bunch. But I never really saw Final Fight Arcade Machine in the arcade. And I went to the arcade a lot at the time. 
So, I'm not sure why that one never made it to my neck of the woods, but... Yeah, I've only played that once or twice on an emulator. So that must have been at least 10 years ago when I gave it a shot, and haven't tried it since. Though I know it's out on virtual consoles, so... There is that, I guess, if I really wanted to try it out. Good. Oh yeah, I don't have to turn around, I can just, well, one thing at a time, let's, oh man. Where'd the other guy go, did I? Just punching off the screen, oh man. Please. Fly away. I always find it weird that that particular cutscene, the helicopter flies away. Oh yeah, even. it seems like based on how high they jump in the game, there's no chance that they'd be able to grab. But then they do with the G-R-A-S-P. <laughs> And this, one of my favorite levels of all time in video games. Just this idea, this really enclosed space to mimic what it's like in the helicopter. And then you have the door sucking people in. Just, wow. At the, it was for the time, that really blew my mind. And was very immersive. In a way that other video game levels were not. Okay. Get up. That was awesome. Getting a stick at it. Oh, jeez. Oh. Uh. Get sucked. Okay. Oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nope. Get down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I'll take it. I think I'm doing pretty well. Of course, this is all gonna fall apart really fast, but that, you know, it is what it is. Oh. What is hitting me? I think my favorite of the Double Dragon games, and I don't know if this ever came out in... Was it Double Dragon? There was a Super Nintendo Double Dragon. And I don't know if it was official or not, I played it on an emulator. And it wasn't Battletoads Double Dragon, it was just Double Dragon. And it was not a fighting game either, it was a side-scrolling beat-em-up just like this. And it was awesome. I thought that game was really great, and I don't... I... I'm surprised it has not shown up anywhere since. Arnold, of course. This part always drove me nuts. Just having to be pixel perfect with your positioning. Yeah, and you can't even walk into it, even after it's fallen down. Which is silly, but... 8-bit days, right? Trick. Uh oh. This is 
loved that. There it is. And hitting that ridiculous jump. Oh, come on, please. Many of my friends, once they get to that point, they always die. They have no idea what to do. <laughs> Forest of Death! Actually, you know what? This is the best I've ever done in this game. We're dropping a save point right here. Because maybe we might actually have a chance of beating this thing. Someday. One other platformer, which I've... I mean, the reason I brought that whole conversation up about... Not platformer, beat-em-ups. Oh man, I almost killed myself right there. That would've been bad. Uh-oh. This whole conversation up was... The Alien vs. Predator beat-em-up. I don't know how many people remember this, but... Capcom, of all companies, made a... Alien vs. Predator beat-em-up, which lets you play as... Oh man. Different types of predators, as well as couple of humans as well. No! Man, this fell apart really fast. No! Okay. If this all falls apart here, uh, we're gonna wrap this video up here, but I might keep playing just out of sheer salt. Having this whole level fall apart on me like that was not cool. I deserve better. Oh no! What?! <sighs> On that note, we are going to wrap this video up right here. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe on youtube.com slash jet in third person, and check out the website in thirdperson.com for more articles and videos on video games, board games, comic books, and other nerdy pursuits. So until next time, my name is Jet, and thank you for watching.